Okay, I'm back. So this is now our nice golden Sony. So first things first, let's close it. So fast forward works. Oops, wrong button, sorry. Stop is here. Stop, rewind. Works, playback, works. Okay, let's see together how the pass looks now. I will have to pull it higher like that. So we see the light. And here is our tape pass. Uh, it's for me. It looks straight and nice. You see, tape goes just right in the middle of the record head so let me adjust the light probably from this side it would be better to see and it goes straight and nice over all heads okay that's how it should work okay i'm happy with what i am seeing next step would be set up azimut let me get Hazmut tape. So to make sure that everything is good. Okay. Oops, Hazmut is off. Let me see the oscilloscope. Okay, levels are bad and azimuth is off, so let's see. 100 millivolts on both channels. Now, using a screwdriver on the left side to adjust the azimuth. Okay, and watching oscilloscope. Low, high, higher, top point, so here we go. Here is the biggest level. Okay, let me zoom in. It's 15 kilohertz. Okay, I see one channel a little bit lower than the other. Not a big problem. Okay. Somewhere like that. For 15 kilohertz, it's a perfect stability. Azimuth. Now, next step, I will have to use the level tape to set the levels. And let me see. Yeah, I believe levels are different, like two decibels different on this deck. So. And here you may see this on the oscilloscope. Now, let me just, you see, one level is okay. It's Dolby, another is lower. So playback levels are just right here. I will use a plastic screwdriver. We should get to minus five on both channels. So minus five here. Oh no, minus six, sorry. It's a Dolby tape, minus six. And on the other one, minus six as well and now we have ni nice and straight in phase levels you see it's 400 gears okay let's rewind a little bit back and repeat exercise see that everything is nice yeah levels nice phase nice minus six decibels both channels okay now i'm ready to pull in frequency response tape to evaluate the head condition so let's rewind to the beginning to the low frequencies it should be minus 16 decibel here as it's been recorded on the kanichi so 
so 10 decibels lower than the Dolby level. So while it's rewinding, I promise it, uh, I will make a video how to read uh, through this uh, diagram. So here, is a, you see the black numbers, 1 volt, 0 0.3 volts, 100 millivolts, 30 millivolts, and so on. So when we use 1 or 10 or 100 millivolts, we just read in top scale, okay? When we use in 3, 0 0.3, 30 millivolts, we are reading on lower black scale, okay? To understand where we are. So for example, if we put 3 volts, so this point would be 3 volts. And this point would be 2 volt, and this would be 1 volt. If you like on 1 volt, this would be 1 volt, this 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, and so on. When we are looking on the red numbers, and that's where the interesting thing is 0 decibel, minus 10 decibel, minus 20 decibel, minus 30, and so on. So uh, here is the decibels and dBm. All decks are measure power. So dBm or dBu. So they are very close, and usually we just use a lower scale uh, to tune up our deck. So when I'm talking about zero decibel, I'm talking about this value, 775 millivolts right here. Okay. Uh, minus two decibel, minus four, minus five. That's the Sony, and most of other decks, uh, zero level for 250 nanoweber tape okay so minus five and dolby is one decibel over would be minus six works so i'm not sure why they did it like early models they had a zero level as a zero level and like if you go to reel to reels so zero decibel it's usually like a zero like DB, oh, sorry, zero level 460 nanoweber because there was a different standards by these days. So there are a couple different values, but we are using service manual for the particular deck and I'm using this lower scale in decibel. So for example, zero decibel. When I switch uh, here, it would be minus 10 decibel and zero becomes minus 10 and we go down like to minus 20, minus 30. Okay, and when I'm on minus 20 decibel level, zero becomes minus 20. And this would be minus 25, minus 26. I hope I explained it. Sorry, I have to pick up the call and I will get back to you later.